What's up everybody, 915 Mang here doing a video today. Got a little present as you can see, it's some uh, coral uh, ship from me from uh, Coral Lust. Danny over there, Scott from uh, Roscoe's Reef, and uh, Billy Pipes, reefing with Billy Pipes, sent me a package uh, towards my uh, 180 gallon build. It's pretty cool of them, I didn't ask for it, but uh, they offered, so I'm not going to say no to some free coral. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this box up and see what I got. It's pretty cool of them be to uh, send me a package because I did enter the contest. They were having a uh, Christmas giveaway. Um, somebody won a lot of corals. like I think it was like $200, $300 worth of corals. And uh, I entered that contest. I didn't win. But uh, here I am. I'm getting hooked up by uh, Coralus, Scott, and uh, Billy Pipes. So that's pretty cool, man. For those of you who uh, follow me on Instagram, got to see uh, exactly what I got. But for those of you on YouTube, check it out. Um, I'm going to do show you here in a few seconds. But I got a bunch of uh, Coral Lust stickers, uh, Danny's uh, business card. And uh, I already used the stickers and put them on my fragging kits. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the uh, fragging kits are, it's just uh, something that we use to uh, break the corals in little pieces, super glue them. And uh, put them on disc so they can regrow. Coral Lust is actually located in Pennsylvania. They sent me these uh, corals all the way over there from Pennsylvania. Overnighted them using uh, FedEx. The FedEx de delivery guy, you know, when he gave it to me, he was like, there's no name on here. It just says 915 Mang. So then I told him, yeah, it's uh, corals. It should be corals. And he was like, oh, you know, salt water. And I was like, yeah, man, salt water. So that was pretty cool, the uh, FedEx delivery guy. And as you can see, there's some big pieces right here, a yellow scroll coral, um, red tied uh, favia, some uh, orange striped acans, and some people eaters. I love me some people eaters. So as you can see, these are pretty big frags on some large frag discs, so it's going to be pretty nice to grow. The uh, packaging came out really good. Uh, Scott himself packaged up all my corals for me. Thanks a lot, brother. appreciate it. And as you can see, it looks like they... Um, sealed it vacuum sealed it and then taped it up uh really good and really nice so really 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 appreciate it this next piece right here is red people eaters um it's a pally and it's has multiple heads on there uh, as you can see i don't even know how many heads it's probably at least 20 but check out this yellow scroll coral that i got this thing is not a frag guys it's like as big as my hand is and it's going to be a nice showpiece in the 180 um, I, the only other corals this size that I have are maybe some anemones and, uh, my monoporas that I got. So really excited about these pieces. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, acclimate them and, uh, put them in a bucket. And then from there, um, just get them in the tank. I can't wait to, to get them in there. I'm really excited about them guys. As you can see, I can't even talk right. Um, you know, the whole thing about saltwater aquariums. And coral reef tanks is that, you know, you get in there because of the uh, fish. You know, the fish are way different than uh, freshwater fish. They're way different colors. They just look cool. And they look cool just with live rock. But as you progress into the hobby, you you get into the corals. And for me, it's all about the corals, you know. The fish, you know, add movement to the tank. They're awesome. But the corals, you start off with little pieces. And then they grow into these big pieces like this, and uh, it's just awesome. So what I'm doing now is I already temperature acclimated my uh, corals. What that is is just you float your bags into your uh, sump or in your tank uh, so that the temperature can be as close as it can to what your corals are, right? I already dumped them all into the bucket, and I uh, used some of my tank water inside of the corals. And I'm just going to keep on doing that. I, I let it sit for a while. And I keep adding new uh, tank water into this bucket. So the salinity matches and everything uh, kind of balances out. You also want to do a coral dip. Um, what I use, I'll show later. But what I use is um, Coral RX. And what that coral dip is, is like medication that you're putting into the water. And you'll see all kinds of bugs and everything come off. And then you do another dip with uh, some fresh tank water, and then you can put them in your tank. 
Messing around with the corals, it did take me about 20 minutes to acclimate them. Uh, when you get them, you don't really want to just open the bag and throw them in the tank right away. You want to do it slow, have a slow process. Um, that way you don't shock your coral. But as you can see, these corals are freshly in the tank, looking really good. My orange striped acans, the red green favia, you know, these people eaters, which I love. They're awesome. Um, so many heads on them, and I uh, can't wait till these just grow out. I'm going to super glue them somewhere and then just watch them grow. Uh, like I said, these are pretty big size uh, frags. And then this scroll coral right here is more like a freaking colony. It's taking up a lot of big space, but it's it looks really good. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Just want to say thanks a lot again to uh, Scott and Coral Lust. Appreciate it, guys. Um, got some nice new pieces for the 180. Uh, lots of uh, more room. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and super glue the other pieces here in a little bit. But I'm starting them out a little low. The scroll coral is up high, you know, but it's not directly under the light. Well, guys, have a good one. Like and subscribe. You guys take care.